OWC Mercury Pro LTO LTO 9 Review For those unfamiliar with its history, tape storage may be a viable alternative to many hard drives in the long run. Nevertheless, managing a comprehensive collection of files across multiple 18TB tapes isn't quite as straightforward as it may seem. A single word to describe the OWC Mercury Pro is industrial. Its solid construction makes it resilient to impact, and at a hefty 5.5 kg, it's not something you want to be dropped on your foot. A shuttle PC is about the same size as this enclosure, making it much bigger than typical external storage solutions and 4 bay NAS boxes. The OWC package includes an unhandy fabric storage bag, an LTOA 12TB tape drive, an LTOA cleaning tape, power cables for various regions, a Thunderbolt 3 cable, and mounting screws for 2.5 or 3.5 inch SATA or SAS drives. One of the benefits of this hardware is that the power supply unit is housed within, so all you need to bring with it are a Thunderbolt cable and an IDC power cable. In other words, nothing valuable is included with the unit that can't be replaced easily if it gets lost or broken. The IBM Ultrium LT09 drive stands out prominently on the front, with its bright blue eject button accenting the semi-matte black enclosure. The rear panel contains a host of connections that may surprise those unfamiliar with the technology used for tape backup storage options. The Mercury Pro LTO has two Thunderbolt 3 ports to connect it to both the host system and other DB peripherals. One of the ports can provide up to 15 watts of power and the other port supplies up to 85 watts, allowing for quick charging of a laptop. The Mercury Pro LTO also features a display port output, allowing you to connect a display port monitor. With two TB ports, it is unnecessary to get an adapter unless you need to connect two external monitors through the Thunderbolt port. This connector, which looks like an RJ45 LAN port, has been repurposed to enable service connections on the back. The two full height C card bays, one of them already occupied with a card, provide internal access to the SATA drive tray. Furthermore, the correct management and handling of tapes are needed to maximize their potential. Different customers have different requirements when it comes to the Mercury Pro LTO, so tapes for its drive come in various types and capacities. According to IBM's marketing specifications, these tapes can hold 45 terabytes of data when compressed. However, if you're saving text documents, it's achievable, yet for pictures and videos which are usually compressed, the capacity could be around 18 terabytes. LTO 9 spec tapes can send data out via Thunderbolt at up to 400 megabytes per second, but this rate is higher than what you're likely to get as the source device might not be able to keep up conventional hard drives usually manage 150 to 200 megabytes per second. The testing we conducted using the LTO8 tape showed transfer speeds of 200 megabytes per second when pulling from an SSD. With the best media, if the source drives are fast enough, it is possible to achieve a quoted speed of 3.6 terabytes per hour, thus allowing for 18 terabytes tapes to be completely written over 5 hours and making overnight backups of this size attainable. Media can either be of an RW type, which allows both reading and writing, or of a worm type, meaning it can only be written once but read multiple times. Worm is an attractive option for those that desire to maintain the integrity of data, preventing unexpected deletion from tape reclamation processes. Due to the worm format, the tapes are not recoverable if they become outdated, while read-write tapes have a physical switch that locks them into a read-only mode upon request. In conclusion, worm tapes are not cost-effective as they are not cheaper than regular tapes. Each tape has a barcode that enables the backup software to merge its catalog with other captured data. This makes it easier for the host system to identify the tape needed when searching through the larger archive for a particular file. When using a tape with a large LTO system, one has to manually read the codes and key them into the system as opposed to them being read automatically, 